Welcome to the Improve I-70 Kansas City virtual meeting. The Missouri Department of Transportation, also known as MoDOT, is improving aging infrastructure along Interstate 70 in Kansas City, Missouri, between the Paseo and US-40 Highway. This video was created in conjunction with open house public meetings held during March of 2022, hosted by the Missouri Department of Transportation. The purpose of the public outreach is to provide an update on the improvements planned to I-70 and to obtain feedback on any updates along the corridor that may impact the previously defined preferred alternative concept. In coordination with statewide planning efforts, the Improve I-70 KC project is one of many being considered to modernize I-70 across the state of Missouri. As part of the Improve I-70 KC process, an environmental reevaluation of the segment between the Paseo and US 40 Highway near 31st Street is needed. The goal of the reevaluation is to learn of any changes and to confirm that conclusions reached several years ago are still valid. It is important that MoDOT hears from the community members about any changes that have occurred within the project area since past outreach efforts were completed. Possible changes might include existing conditions, potential impacts, and related mitigation measures. The project area is approximately five miles long. On any given day, approximately 100,000 vehicles travel the corridor. There have been 1,685 crashes in the corridor in the last five years. There are 10 interchanges located within the project limits. There are 25 bridges in the project area that are scheduled to be replaced or rehabilitated. The Improve I-70 KC goals were derived from stakeholder input during the Tier 1 Environmental Impact Study in 2008. MoDOT's goals for Improve I-70 KC are to improve safety by reducing crash rates and crash rate severity. This includes improving safety on the Jackson and Mitten curves, as well as the entrance ramps and exit ramps. To restore and maintain existing aging infrastructure, such as bridges and pavement. Currently, some of the corridor contains bridges and pavement that are more than 60 years old, as they were built when the original roadway was constructed in 1956. To improve accessibility for people, including access across I-70 for transit users, pedestrians, and bicyclists. To improve the movement of goods or freight along the corridor. And finally, MoDOT has a goal to reduce congestion on I-70. Before we move on, there are a few definitions we'd like to go over. These are terms you will likely hear and or see in regard to the Improve I-70 KC project. The first is Environmental Impact Statement, or EIS. This is an environmental protection mechanism established by the National Environmental Policy Act of 1969. An EIS records impacts that will likely result to the natural and man-made environments from major federally assisted projects. An EIS is required any time there is federal involvement on a project. The EIS includes identifying impacts with the assistance of stakeholder engagement and stating what will be done to address those impacts. The Record of Decision, or ROD, is the Federal Highway Administration's final approval of the Environmental Impact Statement. A Major Investment Study, or MIS, is a study to identify a multimodal investment or strategies to address transportation needs in a manner consistent with regional policy goals. A preferred alternative concept is a visual representation of what the project could be upon completion. Remember, a preferred alternative concept is high level and subject to change. This reevaluation is a NEPA requirement. The National Environmental Policy Act of 1969, or NEPA, was signed into law on January 1, 1970. 
NEPA requires federal agencies to assess the environmental effects of their proposed actions before making decisions. So what is a NEPA reevaluation? A NEPA reevaluation is an environmental study reevaluation. It is a process to review the environmental impact categories and commitments to ensure that any recent changes to the corridor are incorporated into the document. Why is a NEPA reevaluation necessary? A reevaluation is needed to ensure that previous conclusions reached in the original NEPA analysis and decision document are still valid from the Second Tier Environmental Impact Study, or EIS. So how did we get here? This is a brief timeline overview of the project history. MoDOT, the Mid-America Regional Council, and the Kansas City Area Transportation Authority started a major investment study, or MIS, for the I-70 corridor in Jackson County in the year 2000. The objective was to identify a multimodal investment strategy to address transportation needs in a manner consistent with regional policy goals. In 2008, the Tier 1 Environmental Impact Study, or EIS, was started to determine an improvement strategy. A Tier 1 study is a high-level study to determine strategies that may improve issues on the corridor. The study included I-70 from State Line Road to I-470 and resulted in multiple strategies. The Tier 1 study was completed in 2010 and the project team narrowed down the multiple strategies to one, the improved bottleneck strategy. The Tier 2 environmental impact study took place from 2011 to 2014. The Tier 2 study refined the needs of the Tier 1 study and concluded an alternative analysis. The project was then placed on hold. By 2017, several years had passed, so a reevaluation was activated to validate the alternative analysis. The project was then again suspended due to budgetary constraints. In fall of 2021, MoDOT started the Tier 2 reevaluation. A reevaluation is necessary because the final environmental impact statement was completed several years ago in existing conditions possible solutions, potential impacts, and related mitigation measures may have changed. During the environmental impact study, MoDOT listened to community input, which resulted in the following commitments. MoDOT will coordinate with residents and local agencies to discuss aesthetics and non-motorized enhancements during final design. We will enhance accessibility across the corridor through pedestrian and bicycle crossing improvements. We will work with Kansas City Parks and Recreation to coordinate with their trails and bike route plan. We will conduct detailed noise studies during the preliminary and final design phases. We will improve merging and diverging distances for vehicles entering and exiting I-70. We will maintain existing access points to and from I-70. And we will ensure city street connectivity. Dead-end streets and cul-de-sacs will not be implemented. The next four images show the 2017 preferred alternative concept. This concept emerged as the preferred alternative after incorporating the community's feedback. However, keep in mind that only a conceptual design was completed in 2017, and the images shared should be considered a draft and subject to change. Image number one shows the segment of the 2017 preferred alternative concept from just west of the Paseo to just east of Bellefontaine Avenue. The primary proposed changes from existing conditions are separating 14th Street from westbound and eastbound ramp access, reconnecting 14th Street and Garfield Avenue, and reconnecting 14th Street and Wabash Avenue. Image number two shows the segment of the 2017 preferred alternative concept from just east of Bellefontaine Avenue to just east of 23rd Street. The primary proposed changes from existing conditions are 
modifying the westbound entrance ramp at Bitten Boulevard, modifying alignment for I-70 between Chestnut Avenue and 23rd Street, modifying westbound entrance and exit ramps at 23rd Street, and reconnecting Askew Avenue and 24th Street. Image number three shows the segment of the 2017 preferred alternative concept just east of 23rd Street to just east of the Jackson Curve. The primary proposed changes from existing condition are modifying alignment for I-70 through the Jackson Curve, modifying the eastbound entrance and exit ramps at 27th Street, combining the eastbound exit ramp to Myrtle Avenue with the exit ramp at 27th Street, modifying the eastbound exit and entrance ramps at Jackson Avenue, reconnecting Spruce Avenue and Myrtle Avenue, and adding a connection to Myrtle Avenue and Norton Avenue. Image number four shows the segment of the 2017 preferred alternative concept from just west of Lister Avenue to the end of the project near US 40 Highway. The primary proposed change from existing conditions on this segment is modifying the westbound entrance ramp at Van Brunt Boulevard. The preferred alternative concept can be viewed in detail and commented upon by visiting the interactive map on the project website at modot.org forward slash improve I-70 KC. That's modot.org forward slash improve I-70 KC. As the re-evaluation moves forward, there's a few things you should remember. The original EIS study included I-70 from State Line Road to Interstate 470. The current phase includes I-70 from the Paseo to just east of US 40 Highway. Since 2017, some projects have been completed, including the replacement of the I-70 bridge over Manchester and the reconstruction of the I-70-435 interchange. As a separate project, the replacement of the Prospect Bridge over I-70 will take place in 2023. Last year, the federal government passed the Federal Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act that includes funding for highway and bridge projects. Also last year, the state of Missouri increased the motor fuel tax. With those additional sources of funding, this project is being considered to be included in the draft 2023 to 2027 State Transportation Improvement Program. As part of the reevaluation process, there are many other activities going on, such as gathering traffic and safety data, conducting noise analyses, updating socioeconomic and environmental justice data, conducting climate change and equity studies, conducting architectural and archaeological studies, and performing preliminary design work. All of this is scheduled to be completed by the spring of 2023. MoDOT will continue to gather feedback from people for the next year. You can provide comments on the interactive map until March 31st, 2022. You may access the interactive map by visiting the project webpage at modot.org forward slash improve I-70 KC. MoDOT has also established a community advisory group and a neighborhood association advisory group to represent key organizations, elected officials, and adjacent neighborhoods. Both groups will meet periodically and provide critical input throughout the re-evaluation process. Construction for the Improve I-70 KC project is anticipated to begin in 2024. MoDOT appreciates your input for the re-evaluation of the Improve I-70 KC project. We encourage you to get involved and share your thoughts. Visit the project webpage at modot.org forward slash improve I-70 KC to access a variety of ways to ask questions and provide your comments. From the webpage, you may access an interactive map and submit questions or comments until March 31st, 2022. 
you may download a project fact sheet. You can sign up for project email updates. You may request a speaker for your meeting or your organization. And you can view a glossary of terms, past documents, and more. Remember, translation is available. More language options are available for the fact sheet, on the web page, and on the interactive map. Throughout the project, MoDOT has worked with the local community, leaders, organizations, and highway travelers to develop the preferred alternative concept. MoDOT wants to ensure that the 2017 preferred alternative concept is still the best option. To access the map, go to the Improve I-70 KC webpage at modot.org forward slash Improve I-70 KC and scroll down to the interactive map. You will see an introduction page with basic instructions. Click on the Get Started button. To access the language translation tool, click on the Translate button at the top right of the web page. And please share the map with others. The project team wants to know, what has changed between the Paseo and US 40 Highway over the last 10 years? And is the 2017 preferred alternative concept still the best option? Click on each of the four segments of I-70 for more information. A box will pop up with an image of the draft 2017 preferred alternative concept for that section and a list of primary changes from the existing conditions on this section. Please click the image to open a larger view. Again, remember that this is to reevaluate previously completed work. The draft images are subject to change. Improvements to the corridor may be different than what is presented. You can share your thoughts by doing two activities on the interactive map. One, submit a comment, and two, complete the feedback survey. This is how you comment on the map. To submit a comment in the map, click on the Add Comment or Submit a Comment button at the top of the map. Click and drag the icon to reference a specific spot on the map. Fill out the comment box, complete the required fields, and click the Add Comment button. Remember, your comment or questions, your zip code, and your email address are required to leave a comment. Feel free to explore the map and the comments and questions left by other people. There is no way you can mess this up. There is also a brief feedback survey. Navigate to the sidebar menu on the left-hand side of your screen. Click on the Feedback Survey button. A tab will open up. Fill out the Feedback Survey. Click on the four segments of the map to reference the Draft 2017 Preferred Alternative Concept for this segment between the Paseo and US 40 Highway. You can also easily read a list of the proposed primary changes from existing conditions. Click the checkbox to agree to the terms and conditions, and then click the Submit button. If you'd rather submit your comments and questions the old-fashioned way, please email them to the project team at improveI70KC at modot.mo.gov or contact the project team by telephone 816-216-6571. Again, you can email the team at improveI70KC at modot.mo.gov or call them on the phone, 816-216-6571. Be sure to check the project webpage periodically for updates on the Improve I70KC project. Again, the web address is modot.org forward slash Improve I-70 KC. 
thank you for your time and attention. We appreciate your interest and your feedback as we continue to improve I-70 in Kansas City.